Hello there and welcome to my workshop and welcome to this Mac 3 explainer. Many times a week I receive emails and actually in the comment section of my videos regarding Mac 3 and Windows 10. Now there's a little bit of a history lesson here with Mac 3 so uh, bear with me and you will get a, a full understanding because I have in the past addressed this issue and uh, a lot of people that think they know uh, what the answer is um, cry me down. Well I'm here to explain to you how they are wrong. So going back to the end of the 90s, yes that long ago, um, a team in America, a company called Newfangled Solutions, and they saw an opportunity to develop a program for computers because CNC machine operation for hobbyists were up and coming. I'm talking about the very late 90s. So they developed, well actually they've developed Mac 2 first, but we're talking about Mac 3, which is all basically the same program. So by the time they brought it out um, and really got going with it, it was 2001 and of course about that same time XP was released in 2001. So XP was released as a 32-bit operating system only because that's what the computers of the day operated on. So that's what Mac 3 was developed to work with a 32-bit operating system as was all of the programs available of the day. I keep on looking down here because I've got actual dates written down. <laughs> uh, okay so then the computer manufacturers uh, decided to uh, start releasing computers with 64 bit operating system to make them faster and to deal with the workloads that were put upon them. Uh, but of course all the programs available up until about that time was all 32 bit based. So the computer manufacturers had to uh, develop the, or release their computers with a dual operating system or a system that would operate primarily with 32-bit programs. So all was fine. All the old programs worked, Mac 3 worked, so everybody was happy. And then in and then in October of 2009, Windows 7 was put out. And again, Windows 7 was about a 50-50 split. In other words, half the computers that were being produced, because they don't just switch over to 64-bit only, uh, you know, overnight. It takes years to actually use up uh, all the computer parts that was was made, um, you know, for uh, joint 32 and 64 bit. Okay, so you know they had to use up all the backlog of parts, basically saying, but basically put rather. So. Mac 3, working with Windows 7 computers of the day in 2009, was 
fine. And then they brought out Windows 8 in 2012. Um, and it is at that point that they started to phase out the 32-bit. However, there was still, legally I think, they were still obligated to have what they call a 32-bit leg inside the computer. In other words, it would still, the, the computers of the day, uh, Windows 8, would still operate a 32-bit program. All right, but basically they were 90% 64-bit, something like that. So in July 2015, or by July 2015, uh, brand new computers from that date were pretty well 99%, probably 100%, 64-bit only. In other words, over that, um, what, three, four-year period, uh, maybe a little bit more, quite a bit more, yeah, four, five-year period, they phased the 32-bit ability out. But of course, a lot of people still had Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers when Windows 10 came out. And at the time of Windows 10 came out, Windows offered a free upgrade to Windows 10. Okay? So, what I'm saying to you is, Mac 3 will operate with Windows 10 on your operating system but the computer must have been made uh, you know prior to well prior to 2015 in other words the computer that you've got Mac 3 operating on with Windows 10 is one of these upgraded uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 computers. Okay? So yes, Mac 3 will work with Windows 10, but the computer must have been an upgraded to Windows 10 from 7 or 8. You understand? It must have a 32-bit part of the operating system for Mac 3 to operate on that computer because Mac 3, the program, is all done with, I suppose you could call it, um, it's got its own timing. Everything's to do with timing, okay? Reading code over a period of time and feeding that code out and it's all done with a 32-bit operating system okay so all the naysayers out there that says I'm wrong and of course Mark 3 works with a Windows 10 operating system yes it will but like I've explained it would have to have been an upgraded computer to Windows 10, uh, you know, from a 7 or a Windows 8 computer. It must have a 32-bit operating system. Computers after 2015 that are 64-bit only, it won't work Mac 3. If you manage to upload Mac 3 onto that computer, you might end up with a blue screen. Okay? Or it may just not work at all. But I do know people 
that have tried to put Mac 3 onto a 64-bit computer and end up losing their system. And that, that's a fact. So that's the story. It's quite long-winded, but uh, I hope you, you understand a little better now. Um, and, you know, I, I, I can hear some of you say now, oh, dear, what am I going to do? How, how am I going to get Mac 3 to, to operate with my machine? Well, you could go to Mac 4, uh, but, I, you know, I don't use Mac 4 myself. I've got my reasons why I don't, uh, don't use it. Um, it's got some bugs as far as I know. Um, and bugs that I don't trust. And put it that way. That's my personal take on it. Um, so yeah, I, I'll stick with Mac 3. I also use NC Studio to It's okay. It's, that is a fairly basic program. I also have the SMC5 behind me here that uh, I'm going to be starting to use this this year. But uh, like I hear, I can hear some of you thinking, "Oh, where am I going to get a computer from?" Okay, just go onto eBay. Uh, let me just drop this down. Pick up eBay. Um, now this is in Australia. But uh, I do know that uh, I've seen these companies in America and uh, also in, in, in England uh, and I would say every other country around the world, you know, sort of a westernized country would have them too. Uh, these companies buy uh, batch computers, you know, um, they're going and buy a, you know, just say for example, um, a, you know, a banking system or a bank, whoever it is. I'm only saying a bank because, you know, a group of uh, companies then that would have maybe a couple of hundred of these computers. Uh, so what they do, what the banks do, they have the um, hard drive taken out of them for obvious reasons and, and, and you know sort of ex um, uh, government computers too they take the hard drives out of them and they sell these onto um, reconditioning companies okay that will put a brand new hard drive in it and you know check it right out and sell it at a reasonable cost. I, I have bought two of these and they work straight away and absolutely no problem. I buy Hewlett and Packard and Dell. Basically they're the same computer <laughs> inside. Um, so just take this one, Hewlett and Packard. So this is a reconditioned Windows 7 computer from a reconditioning company. It's not brand new but it's pretty close. You know it's been reconditioned it'll have a brand new hard drive in it. Um, you won't be able to have with this system you won't be able to have um, SSD and so it will be a hard disk drive which is fine We've been using them for the last 30 years. Um, and of course, you know, you normally get a, a bit of a warranty with them as well. Anything from three months, I think. So you can pick up for very, for a rate, this is Australian dollars too, this isn't American dollars. You know, American dollars would be about 75 bucks, I think. Um, and you know probably about uh, what's that um, about 65 pounds in the UK so all over the world you can get reconditioned computers 
uh, that will run Mac 3 absolutely fine. So there's your answer and that's the why and wherefore. So I hope you've liked this little explainer today. So if you have, please press like and subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. Uh, and if you don't like what I'm doing, tell everybody. <laughs> and if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron because it is the patrons behind this channel that uh, enables me to make videos, high-tech videos, such as the ones that I do, uh, of which now there's over 750 videos. That'll take you a little time to go through. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me, and until the next video, bye for now.